question, the member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Health. Yesterday, the Halton Regional Council unanimously passed a resolution to freeze growth until it receives well-needed funding for hospitals. I repeat, there will be no more building permits approved in Oakville and Milton until this government lives up to its infrastructure obligations. This is a very serious wow. matter, Mr. Minister. Minister. Wow. Your government delayed progress in Oakville, because of, Oakville Hospital because of a supposed lack of construction capacity. Well, that was then. This is now. We live in a whole new world in the past three months. It's time to put the Oakville and Milton Hospital projects back on the books. Minister, will you do that? Minister. Minister of Energy and Infrastructure. Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I want to say to the Honourable Member, I appreciated the chance to uh, speak with uh, him uh, the uh, other day and also uh, uh, to uh, my uh, colleague uh, from Oakville. A couple of things that are important. Firstly, uh, we recognize that there are uh, substantial growth pressures out there, and that's why our government this year is investing $9.9 .9 billion in infrastructure, a number that is uh, unprecedented. There is uh, some limitation, Mr. Speaker, in construction capacity, and the Honourable Member can suggest, if he wishes, that everything's changed in the last three months, but it is our obligation on projects as big as that one, which is an extraordinarily large project in Oakville, that we actually have companies that bid against one another in a tendering process that is a competitive and gets value, and those conditions, those conditions do not exist at present. We're working with the uh, local uh, member, uh, Kevin Flynn, very vigorously on trying to have the fastest possible timetable, because there is a government in Ontario that supports hospital construction. It's our government. That party continues to propose a— Thank you. Supplementary. Sir, the bottom line is that Halton needs hospitals, and they need them now. Your government's failed policies across the board have contributed to this situation. From your irregular municipal funding to your disastrous economic mismanagement, the Regional Council in Halton is being forced to resort to these kinds of ultimatums. I understand, Minister, that these are tough decisions, but that does not excuse your lack of action. Minister, will you commit today to immediately renew the construction on Trafalgar Hospital in Oakville and immediately begin the process of expanding the current hospital in Milton? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, a couple of things. Firstly, the member uses the word ultimatum and suggests that's an appropriate tactic. I don't think that's right. I'm looking forward to the meeting that I'm going to have with the regional chair, Carr. But our government has nothing to be embarrassed about, Mr. Speaker, with respect to the investments that we've made in Halton. $386 million on highway improvements. The land for the hospital in the first place was provided free of charge. 197 in Halton schools, 332 million in transit investments, 10 million for MIIII projects, 23 million for municipal roads, 12 million for affordable housing, plus the municipal gas tax payments. We agree. There are areas where additional investment is needed in Halt, and I've been working closely with the honourable, with the uh, member from uh, Oakville on this very matter. And I'm looking forward to the conversation with the regional chair. We don't think ultimatums are the right solution. We want to work in partnership with Halton Region. We want to see more growth and development in that community, and we're committed to building new hospital infrastructure, starting first in Oakville. When we Thank you.